and welcome to PCTV News. I'm Liz McAloney. And I'm Isabella Perea. We are happy to have you here with us for our second show of the spring semester. In today's show, we will bring you a feature segment on the Prague Abroad's gallery opening in Radford, the latest sports news, and an interview with the cast and crew of Godspell. Last Tuesday, the Prague Abroad had their gallery opening in Radford. PCTV went to the opening and caught up with some of the members of the abroad to learn more about their experience. When I had to go off by myself, I was really afraid to just do it. When you're in a foreign country and you don't, you can't rely on Google Maps. You can't call your mom and ask for directions. I was very meticulous with my planning, so I knew I wouldn't be able to fail, so I went out there on my own. And ever since that moment, I was finally not afraid anymore. I was finally able to do things on my own. It, it's been a bigger change, but I've definitely become more independent. Congratulations to the Prague Abroad. Their gallery will be open in Radford until early April. Now over to Zeke with the latest in sports news. Thanks, Izzy. This week, PCTV news reporters were able to catch up with a couple of members of the rugby and baseball teams to see how their seasons are going so far. Let's see what they had to say about their spring seasons. Well, I mean, we're only two games in, but uh, the things that our team has shown, I think, uh, really show the potential that we have. Um, you know, last year uh, was definitely an improvement from the year before, and I think this year there's going to be huge leaps in, uh, you know, not only what guys are doing individually, but what the team is doing as a whole. And I think, you know, as a whole unit, we're going to kind of follow the example that uh, basketball just finished setting and, you know, really take the rest of the league by storm this year. Personally, I mean, right now, the way that our offense has shown out and our defense and our pitching, um, on the baseball aspect, I really don't think there's any much improvements to make at all. And team chemistry-wise, I mean, we're all we're all buddies. We're all we all get along. We don't have many many issues in terms of you know clashing heads or anything like that. So, I mean, not to you know it's not, you know humble brag, but I, right now I think that where we're at as a team is we're in a good spot. So. Unlike football, basketball, you know, you can't just like take a knee and run out the clock. You can't just dribble out uh, the rest of the time. Like you have to give uh, the other guy another chance. We've developed <laughs> as a team um, the tough guy belt, which is essentially a, it's like an old, well, we just got a new one, like an upgrade, but it's like a WWE belt. It's like heavyweight champ, whatever, whatever you want to say it. And uh, basically it's the guy that does the, the quote-unquote toughest thing it's t-u-f-f -F, not t-o not t-o-u-g-h um, it's more of a comedic value thing where you know if you do something stupid but it's funny you get the tough belt or you know uh, for instance today scott ross our assistant coach got hit in the head with our nail drag and which obviously was probably pretty painful so he got the belt it's been fun just learning a new sport and just getting to know a bunch of new guys so it's been real fun yeah, it's, uh, it's been good. It's a continuation from where we left off last semester. Uh, we have high hopes and expectations for ourselves, so it's been good so far. Being more hardworking and just going the extra mile and just giving it your all in practice. Yeah, it's a long season and uh, we only have one big tournament. So I think right now we're still trying to, to gauge, you know, it's like, it's like running long distance. At what point do you pick up the speed and give it that all? Um, then we have a couple new players, so we're still trying to figure out the chemistry between players. Sevens is a big, big uh, chemistry game, so it's a big part of it too. Just the hard walk and a lot of running, and it's fun. Just fun to be there, just tackling and giving your all. Yeah, um, it's a great group of guys that love to work hard, but they have fun working hard, um, which is uh, an important factor. Yeah, a lot of times you can lose sight in having fun when you're working so hard. But well, we seem to, to balance both pretty well. We have a, a fun game we like to play in the locker room where <laughs> every time ever someone tries to leave the shower, we just throw soap back on them. <laughs> so a nice uh, two minute shower to a seven minute shower. Probably not the most eco friendly. <laughs> The 
teammates. Good teammates. Also, I, I, I never, I hadn't played early contact sport before, before coming to rugby. I just played soccer before that. And uh, I think it's really fun to just kind of, it's, I'm learning a whole new thing. It's kind of a, exciting in that way, but also it's a little bit more, uh, you get a little more energy out than you do playing yeah. soccer. No, for really, it's fun. Honestly, it's the main reason I love rugby so much is because it is such a team sport. You know, you can just have one guy go and do everything to win. You have to depend on each other, so you know, it really does bring you closer. Yeah. So it's a team. Best of luck to both teams on the rest of their seasons. Now, back over to Izzy for the latest in entertainment news. Thanks, Steve. Last weekend, Prince students put on put on their soul shoes and sang their hearts out in this semester's performance of Godspell. PCTV sat down with director Trish Brown and lead performer Nick Peshka to discuss how the show was put together and what they have cherished most from the experience. Um, now, in your selection of Godspell, it's, it, there are many different renditions of it. So how did you come to pick the, uh, this one? Well, this is the 2012 version. It was revived in um, 2012 with updated music. It has a more contemporary, um, edgy kind of feel, and we wanted that urban, sort of edgy, gritty rock band feel for this particular concept that we're putting together. Now, how does that contemporary feel like apply to modern day themes and uh, theories? We've decided to set this play in 2022, which is six years from now. And at that point, the world looks very different. We literally have walls that surround cities that separate the haves from the have-nots. The haves are the people of privilege, wealth, um, good health, <laughs> establishment, all of those things. And the have-nots are people who might have a physical disability, who would be socio-economically challenged, um, anything that sets them apart from sort of that norm of society. So it's, I think, pretty relevant to some of the things that we're seeing starting to take place in our society. And I don't think it's that far-fetched from where we could end up if we're not being thinking thoughtful people. That's actually kind of cool. Um, so how do you feel like the principles of Christian science kind of intertwine with the theme of the play? Well, I definitely feel like we have done this play with the idea of awakening consciousness for the sake of healing. Jesus came to heal. That was his whole mission. And he came to people who were in great need. The people in our play are in great need. And I think our world is in great need of love. And that was Jesus' primary purpose, was to bring that love and that understanding of lack of judgment for each other. And even if we don't agree all the time, we can still love one another as children of God. That's our whole mission in this play. If we get that across to our audience, then we've done our job. Great. And final question, as it relates to the cast and crew, mm -hmm. how could you sum up this journey? Oh my gosh. Um, that makes me kind of emotional because this cast and this crew and the staff have worked so hard and the band. This has not been easy because we put it together in six weeks. And to do a full musical in that time is um, pretty remarkable for, you know, when people are holding down jobs and school and everything else. So I, I just have nothing but undying gratitude to them and for trusting me to go on a journey that's a little different than I think anything Godspell has really done before. And so I just, I love all these people with my heart and I'm so grateful to have done this with them. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, Trish, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nick, can you play the role of Jesus? Yes. Now, um, how have you kind of channeled um, your your energy, in a sense, <laughs> yeah. being able to play this type of role? Because it seems like it's a very large role. Yes. Um, so, first of all, I, I getting that role, I was a little bit like, okay, this is a big deal. Not only, like, because as a Christian scientist, I mean, we, I know, I, I look up to Jesus, so... Uh, I mean, I have this opportunity now to play my role model, I guess. And so, um, and he's like the most famous man in the universe. So it's kind of like, okay, I got to really, really make sure I'm uh, taking this role uh, seriously, but as well as not putting too much pressure on myself. Um, but I ended up actually taking New Testament um, at the same time. So I read through the Gospels um, 
and and really dug into like his teachings and um, really got to know him, I guess, a little better. And so I was really grateful that I really, uh, you know, got to read the Bible and get more insight into really who Jesus was. This show to me is a lot more than just singing and dancing. You know, it, it's about sharing a deeper message that I think Principia needs to hear as well as already knows, but maybe needs a wake up call. And so just emphasis on community and not being judgmental and um, just loosening up, you know? And so I've had so much fun doing this and I know that my purpose with this has been meaningful and it's changing my life. So I'm, I'm loving every second. That's awesome. Well, Nick, thanks so much. Congratulations to the entire Godspell cast on four nights of successful, thought-provoking performances. That's it for this week's show. Thank you for being with us as we covered the latest print news. Remember to like us on Facebook to keep up to date with our coverage of print news and campus life. We look forward to seeing you after spring break.